in a job well done in, and is humble enough to be a loyal servant of the people and who is selfless enough to reach out and mobilize the entirety of government towards delivering for Kenya. Experienced enough to understand the importance of engaging all sectors of our economy to drive transformation and committed enough to serve professionally with loyalty and most importantly with integrity. I am delighted to affirm that our coalition and indeed our nation is blessed with many professionals who meet all these criteria. Among them, Abraham Keturek Kindiki stands out for his exceptional qualifications, extensive experience, and wide-ranging accomplishments. I am honored that he is available. He has told me he is ready, and I know he is willing to serve as my deputy. Professor, my young brother, let me call you Abraham K. or Abra K. Welcome to the service of this great nation, Kenya. And let me say this, I have heard you clearly when you took your oath of office and the oath for the due execution of your responsibilities as Deputy President. You have said two fundamental things in your oath. Kenyans were listening, I too was listening. You said that you will serve the people of Kenya and the Republic of Kenya. Abrake, please, serve the people of Kenya and the Republic of Kenya. As I told our principal secretaries, as I told our cabinet secretaries, and as I tell every public servant who has a responsibility, who has a duty, who has the honor to serve our nation, let us serve the people of Kenya and the Republic of Kenya. We are not here to serve ourselves or our families or our communities or our regions or our villages. We are here to serve the Republic of Kenya and the people of Kenya. The second thing that you have said in your oath, I said in my oath, I listened to principal secretaries and cabinet secretaries and others. You have said you will serve without fear, without favor, without affection, and without ill will. My brother Abrake, I listened to you. The people of Kenya were listening to you. Serve without bias, without ill will, without favor, without affection, and without fear. So that together, the people of Kenya can know that their public servants, all of us, elected, appointed, in different categories,